What is up guys, Green and Pride here coming at you. We're doing a little Kelvin versus Lash. Uh, the new character is also on the other team. The Jin. Haven't got much experience as the new character yet. I'm probably going to try him out. I kind of like his kit. I think his kit caters to somebody who has very high game sense and really good shooting. And I'm not sure if I'm there exactly yet. Just poking away with my auto attacks. Kelvin Gun actually got nerfed. I was thinking about doing a Kelvin Gun build, but then they kind of nerfed a couple uh, damages from Kelvin's bullets, so. Not sure if it's worth it. It's probably still pretty good. I bet you every character in the game could probably do a gun build, but. I don't know if it's as good now that it's been nerfed. Ignore that. That was a misclick. Don't tell anybody you saw that. Honestly, if I had my beam there, I might have been able to kill Ash. Hit him with a grenade, though. Poke him out. Try to get him with a headshot as he runs away. This hurricane absolutely ravaged the Midwest this weekend. Everything I was going to this weekend was canceled. I had an outdoor concert Friday canceled. Going to the Renaissance Fair Saturday canceled. Another big grenade. Gonna do a little flank here, see if I can finish him off. Take way more turret damage than I anticipated, so I just get out of there. Both my abilities are on cooldown. I know this Lash is pretty low. If he was a little better and he had all of his abilities, he might have been able to kill me, though. Not sure. I might have been able to just get him with gun damage. Hit him with another big grenade. I'm absolutely snipering these ones. I'm thinking about doing a grenade build. Getting like that uh, myth mythic, mythic uh, burst that does more damage when you hit like a certain damage cap. Ooh, that that was close. See, in these situations, you just gotta reset. I know it sucks and it feels like a big waste of time, but you're just not really doing anything hiding back here with no health. Which is exactly what it looks like he did. I bought high velocity mag first. I usually buy healing right first, but this lash was being pretty passive, so I buy healing right right here. Healing right <clears throat> is usually my first buy on pretty much every character. It just really saves you a lot of time and effort from having to go back to the base. So lash did a full reset there. One single one almost chucked him though. I don't even have any uh I don't even have any spirit power yet. And that just chunked him. Peppered him a little bit with my gun. Just doing some casual farming. There's Mystic Reach, so my three goes a little farther now. Actually surprised that one hit him there. Kind of looked like he was far away. Beam him down. Get some ones on him. I'm chasing him here with my two. Hit him with my one again. Really just peppering him down with those ones. And I get the kill with an auto attack. Not saying this Lash is really good or anything. He's clearly pretty new. But these are still good tactics to use as Kelvin. And if you're against Kelvin, you just got to stay away from him, honestly. When your two is up, like, he can chase you down pretty much anywhere. That's gonna... So I got Enduring Health there, which is extra health and a little bit of Spirit Leech. And then just Tier 1 Boots. 
The boots are more important now. The map is actually wider. They have widened the map. So there's more space in between lanes. Which I think is a good thing. I think they were a little too close together. It was way too easy for characters like Kelvin or Hayes, who have some kind of speed ability, to just gank anytime they want. So having the lanes a little farther apart is good. Saving up for my first tier 2 here. Again, I'm surprised that one hit him. It looked like he was out of the range, but I'm glad it did. I watched Infinity Pool last night. That movie's weird as hell. I don't know if anyone else has seen that. But that movie, that movie's creepy, dude. That movie got to me. Yeah. He like tried to hit two abilities there, and I think he just missed both of them. And then I just threed him down, and then killed him with the auto attack again. I think this Lash is either new at Lash or he's new at the game. One of the two. But you can't pick your opponents. And don't say you can pick what video I upload either, because I can't. I don't have that kind of time. When I get a good game, I just got to record it. I love the new Viscous uh, UI update thing. Graphics update. Made him way gooier. Gooier and greener. So he, uh... They said he was looking way too much like that other character. I just bought tier 2... Uh, Mystic... Whew, what's it called? Duration. So now my 3 lasts longer. So the beam is longer and it is stronger and it lasts all night longer. He's honestly peppering me pretty hard with these auto attacks, so he's good at that at least. About to get another tier 2 here once I get a few more souls. He's actually starting to deny now, too, if you can hear it. So he's, like, slowly getting better. He's getting better with the autos. He's getting better at denying. I'm, I'm making him a better person. I'm forging him in fire right now. He's a pile of coal, and I'm turning him into a diamond. Trapped him in my ult there. Hit him with the one to weaken him, and then I just auto-attacked him down. That tier 2 I bought was uh, Healbane. I love getting Healbane. It lowers the healing ability of your people you're hitting with spirit damage. And if you kill somebody, you get a big heal. So it's like, it's a big wombo combo. Lash heals a lot. One of his abilities is literally just to heal. So anytime you're facing a character like that, it's really good to have Healbane. Because you're basically lowering the effect effectancy of 25% of their hit. Could have maybe pushed another wave there, but I just want to go back and get a tier 2. You got expensive taste. I love tier 2 cooldown reduction. That's just pretty basic for all your abilities, just to have a lower cooldown. So he's back here. 
Pepper him with the one, chase him down with the two, slow him in with the three, the wombo combo right there. Bummer that one missed. We're kind of just <laughs> flailing about now. My three's back up. He keeps trying to punch me for some reason, even though I'm far away. And I just three him down. I have double his gold. This is like something big. Never fight somebody. This is a MOBA, not a hero shooter. You should never fight anybody that has double your gold, ever. Unless it's like a 3v1 and you're just jumping them. Do not 1v1 anybody that has double your gold. This isn't like Overwatch where it's like, oh, like if I play better, like I'll kill him. No, you won't. I have too much damage. I have too much health. I have too much cooldown reduction. You're not going to win fighting somebody who has double your gold. I know this plays like a hero shooter, but it's a MOBA first. I got tier 2 boots, and I got the uh, mystic vulnerability. So now dealing spirit damage lowers their spirit resist. That's huge on your 3. Because the first tick of damage on your 3 lowers their spirit resist, and then it makes the rest of your 3 stronger. At least he's not completely giving up. He's still trying to deny. He's still trying to poke me. At least he's not completely giving up, which is good. Keeping a strong mental is really important in MOBA. See, he's getting those denies. So he's trying to stay in the game. I don't really want to be the so pushed up by myself. So I kind of retreat here. I see this Infernus is kind of by himself. I missed my one, unfortunately, which was a big chunk of damage, but... Poke him down, slow him. Kind of just scare him away. I really don't have too much to be doing right now. Everybody's kind of like pushed evenly. So there's nobody that's super open to a gank. Maybe if I went all the way to the other side of the map, I could gank Bebop, but I'm trying to keep my lane safe. New characters helping him. A little Jin action. So I'm doing a little 2v1 here. Trying to keep my guardian safe. Which, just don't freak out. Like, don't dive in and try to kill them. Don't, just don't. If you're getting 2v1 to your guardian, just clear the wave. That's it. That's all you gotta do. Stay safe and clear the wave. Don't freak out and try to fight them. I got heal booster there. So now all my healing is a... Uh... Oh no no, I uh, I upgraded the healing right to tier two. Never mind. So tier two healing right heals you and everybody around you instead of just one person. It's really good. And I don't think the healing is stopped by being attacked. I think it's just you get that healing no matter what. So it's a lot better in fights. If that's the way it works, I might be misunderstanding that. I'm a big proponent of getting those little boxes. I love little tiny buffs like that and those are permanent those are not like till the next time you die or for 10 minutes or anything those are permanent so if you get a ton of those little tiny buffs they definitely add up clearing some waves here trying to protect our walker I see that Geist over there. I don't. She's just kind of hiding under her walker. I don't really want to fight her. If all she's going to do is chill under her walker. Time to move. I see a big gank here. Throwing grenade. 
Kelvin is a S tier ganker because of his two. Absolutely missed that ult, which sucks. I should have got closer. I can see her invisible. Mid boss is attacking her. I'm still peppering her. She's still invisible. Hit her with that one, slow her down, and I just, yep. Kill her with my three while I'm slept. One of the best, the funniest things to do. I'm looking for this Bebop. He actually dipped though. He put that bomb on uh, Mo and then he dipped. I thought he might have stayed around. Another big wave to clear. I keep taking this Mo's farm by accident. I just happened to get here first. That Viscus is doing the urn again, dude. He really likes it. Get my first tier three. It's going to be tier three reach, and I'm going to put that on my three, so my three reaches farther. Did that sign just say boys obey? What the hell? I see that this is about to turn into a fight, so I boost. Get an easy little kill there. I thought that was pretty cool. That Bebop knocked me in the air and I tooed mid-air to stop myself from being flung back and so I could keep chasing him. And I get a nice little triple kill there. Easy peasy. That fight... That fight was a 3v1. Uh, they were probably just going to kill Viscus. He might have gotten away. Viscus is pretty slippery. But I turned that 3v1 into a 2v3 and got a triple kill. You just got to look for opportunities like that. Where are you adding value on the map? That's what you should be thinking about in a MOBA. Didn't really do a lot of damage to that guy. I thought it'd do more damage. I'm 6k say souls up on him, but... Didn't do the damage I thought it would be. Misclick my three there again. You didn't see that. Don't tell anybody that happened. Now tier three duration on my three, so my three lasts longer. So my three is pretty much peak performance right now. It lasts long, it goes far. It bounces between enemies. Basically, I'm about to basically it's easy to build around the three because it's so good. Hayes is trying to teleport here. No idea where she goes. No idea. She's just in the teleporter and then she's not. And she didn't teleport because she's over here. So I don't know what she like dove past us, I guess, without any kind of animation or anything. Maybe she dove right as she turned invisible. I don't know. Or maybe that teleporter goes over here and she did teleport. I don't know. She tries to ult us, but I just kill her with my three. Your three uh, lowers fire rate, so I think it affects her ult. I know for a fact she gets bullet dodge while she's in her ult, so your three is really good against that because, you know, it's not bullet. I don't know what that guy was doing. He just ulted nobody for some reason, but I've been there. So there's two big things I was trying to focus on this game. I was trying to focus on uh, left clicking better and ulting better. Boop. Misclicked my three again. Again, you didn't see that. So I saved this Mo by ulting. I just, I personally have noticed I don't left click enough. Like there's times where I could be shooting people with my M1, but I'm just waiting for my uh, cooldowns to come up. So I definitely need to get better at about auto attacking. And then I've had multiple comments about my ults being bad. So maybe I use them too offensively because there are a lot of times where I'll dive in and ult an enemy to try to like 1v1 them in my ult and I'll lose. So I was actively trying to make my ults more defensive this game. And I was trying to actively M1 more this game. Try to get better. The M1 thing is definitely my fault. The bad ult thing, I think that's a little subjective. But ults do feel pretty good when you save someone's life. So I was trying to focus on saving my teammates with my ults. Now I have tier 3 cooldown reduction. I put that on my ult. Your 3 doesn't need 
cooldown reduction because it already has a cooldown of like two or three seconds. So. Stay together. Is waiting to be I think about going to this team fight. You can see it on the map, but then it kind of breaks up when I'm like halfway there. So I'm like, damn. So then I'm just going to go clear this far wave. You can just see, Kelvin gets around the map better than anybody. Like, just look at that. I got, I moved two lanes over in like three seconds. With one ability that has a short cooldown. It's already back up. Like, that's nuts. I love Kelvin. Kelvin is like my spirit animal in this game. In League, it was Malzahar, and in, and in this game, it's Kelvin. Little wombo combo on that infernus there. Me and Wraith are just pushing a little bit, doing a little counter jungling. We're kind of stomping them economy wise. We have like 60 or 70k souls up on them, which is pretty nuts. The comeback mechanic in this game is very strong though. You can definitely be down like 50 souls, and one big team fight completely like makes you even. That's how strong the comeback mechanic is. So don't be afraid if you're like 50k souls down. You just gotta kill some people. Huge ult, get a triple kill there with my one or my three, I don't know. Whatever hit them. Whatever happened to hit them. I'm just sitting in this guy's grenade because it's literally doing so little damage. My health regen is like higher than the, the guy's grenade damage. She got way too deep. I know it's hard when your base is being sieged, but you gotta all wait for each other. You can't just jump in one at a time because that guarantees you're all gonna die and you're gonna lose. You gotta wait for each other. So I have no idea why that guy was just in by herself. I ult here, and but the bebop bolt gets me. Bebop bolt is so strong. Even when he's 14k souls down on me, he still just shreds me with his ult. I've been playing uh, Satisfactory. Satisfactory just hit 1.0. It's like a factory building game. Not sure how I feel about it. I kind I just got got tier two heal booster by the way. That just uh, makes all your heals stronger. It just Factorio is such a perfect game. Like there's some games that I just cannot take a substitute for. I do not like survival games because they are not Subnautica. I do not like factory building games because they are not Factorio. Like, there are some games that are just perfect. And Satisfactory just falls under the Factorio umbrella, where I like, I guess it's pretty good, but I just would rather be playing Factorio. Like, every second I'm playing that game, I'm thinking, man, you know, if this was Factorio, I could be doing this right now. Come in with a big triple kill and then just thanks for the feed lash. That's pretty toxic. Don't be like me. Do as I say, not as I do. Victory. Nice little easy victory. We kind of just stomped them. 
Paradox said y'all ass. That's way worse. See, that's more toxic. Nice little easy game. 11-1-9. Pretty good. You'll just have games like that where you stomp. You'll have games where you get stomped. It's just, that's what a MOBA is, man. You just gotta focus on the economy. Focus on the macro gameplay. At the end of the day, your micro doesn't really matter if your team is just way behind in souls. So focus on that macro. Let me know if you guys want to see anything else. I might post a little satisfactory. I don't know. Up to you guys. Just let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Thanks.